thing about it, because I didn't want to shatter the eyeglass lenses out of anybody's glass. <laughs> this thing will definitely, no, it's a really great symbol, but one of the cool tricks that I like to do is to crash a symbol on four. Like, a lot of people crash symbols on one. They play, you know, example of, it's in other words, it's just like trying to play something that jumps, that, that like you notice. Um, if you take a picture, if you're in a family photograph and everybody's just kind of standing like this, you know, then that's what you're going to look like in the picture. But if you make a, you know, if you go like, you know, like animated, something like animated, everybody else is going to maybe look, maybe go, oh, look at Steve, he made a funny face, like, or whatever. It's like, yeah, well, that's, that's being animated. And to me, playing, like, playing music, you want to play the song and you want to play what's appropriate, but you also want to play something that might jump off the tape, like if you grew up on Led Zeppelin like I did and you heard what John, John Bonham could do. He always played something that sounded explosive and impressive, uh, impressive and you're like, oh wow, I didn't know the drummer could get away with that, you know, like, you know, so, you know, it's cool to wrote, puts things in that might not necessarily belong. But I have to say, it's always best to, and what, what, most appropriate to play a song and to support the song. There's no reason to play fills just so you can hear yourself all around the drums or whatever. It's like, it's always best to, like, you're playing in a band, or you're playing behind an, uh, an artist. Always best to serve the song before you serve yourself. I, I'll definitely say that. But since we're talking about uh, John Bonham, you guys probably know the classic Bonham triplet, but if you don't, I'm, you know it? Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Yes. You know it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't, I'm going to show it to you real slow, and then I'll speed it up a little bit, and then I'll show you one variation that I learned from uh, a great uh, drum DVD by the great Walfredo Reyes Jr. He's, a, I think he's from Brazil, right, John? I think uh, officially I know that now he's L.A. bound. Oh, okay. But yeah, but definitely Cuban. South American, yeah. 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 I mean, he's a real riff player. But the bottom triplet is based on this. Uh, it's really just based on right, left, kick. Right, left, kick. All right? Um, the hi-hat always plays eighth notes, so it's like one, oh, and oh, two, oh. How do you count 16 note triplets? One triplet or it, one oh, so oh. many different ways, right? Like you know, one triplet. Or one and uh, even if it's I know oh. it's so I, I count one, one oh, oh and oh, oh, oh two perfect. Oh, oh, and oh, oh. perfect. So, one oh, oh and oh two.
Am I sucking real bad? Is that what it is? <laughs>